We now turned our focus to Molly's roots. Her father, Angela's great-grandfather, was a man named Isom Spencer. We found Isom, along with two of his brothers, listed as collateral on a loan document filed in 1854 by a slave owner named William Pauling. Pauling owned a plantation in Marengo County, Alabama. And in this document, he gives a detailed accounting of the human beings who worked it, making the reality of slavery palpable to Angela in a way she'd never expected. I assume that my ancestors lived on plantations as, as, as slaves. Uh, but of course, I didn't know who they were. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know uh, who the slave owners were. Um, and I just feel so sad that, that these, these are my people who had to live under those conditions. So, you know, it makes me realize what a miracle it is that we're here now. Oh, my God. And th this is yesterday. In terms of an historical timeline, our blood ancestors were owned by other human beings according to the law yesterday yeah, in exactly. terms of the passage of time. Exactly. That's true. That's true. Angela's great-grandfather, Isom, not only marks her family's transition from slavery to freedom, He's also at the center of a fascinating story. In 1866, a year after the end of the Civil War, Isom's former owner, William Pauling, was keeping four of Isom's orphan nephews as unpaid apprentices on his plantation. Essentially, he was continuing to hold them in slavery, using his power and privilege to circumvent the law. Isom and his brothers weren't intimidated by Pauling. To the contrary, they went to court and filed a complaint against him. That's great. Runs in the oh family. Oh my God, absolutely. <laughs> I, this I'm so happy uh, to see. <laughs> Isn't mm, that cool? Yes, yes. I mean, uh, these are people who had been kept in bondage. And in 1866, they were saying, right. we are going to use the mechanism of the law against this racist who's absolutely. got these kids. And they figured out how to do it. They figured and out they how to do it. they brought an actual complaint. It's amazing. Wow. Wow. Unfortunately, Angela's ancestor faced deep odds. At the time, former slave owners all over the South were trying to keep black children on their plantations as free labor. The practice was so common that the judge who heard the family's complaint saw nothing wrong with it. I thought it was a capital arrangement for such children and the best thing that could be done for them. I do not think that any good will result from the angry and frivolous complaints of the uncles and aunts of such children. They can do nothing for them, and they do not know what is best for them or for the children. The judge presiding over your relative's case sided with the planter. That he doesn't surprise me. He endorsed Pauling's desire to have your relative stay on as his quote-unquote apprentices, stating that Isom and his brothers did not quote-unquote know what is best for them or for the children. What do you imagine your great-grandfather and his brothers felt at that moment? Well, you know, I'm, I'm sure that uh, um, they were extremely angry. They were, they were the, the uncles of these children Blood who were kin. being exploited, who were being turned into slaves. Uh, and so is, is this the way it ends? Happily, this is not where the story ends. Less than a year later, the Freedmen's Bureau, a federal agency set up in part to help African Americans, intervened on Isom's behalf and ordered that his nephews be released from their apprenticeships. Finally, finally, finally some, yeah. Um, so, your great-grandfather, man born and raised in slavery, 
pulled off wow. a victory less than two years after wow. he became free. That's astonishing. Wow. So do you see a little bit of him and his determination trickling down that family tree of yours? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yes, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to find that there's a, a motif of resistance there. There is, definitely. Because that is what I feel like I've been trying to do since I was a teenager. Well, you came by it naturally, my daddy would say. <laughs> yeah, that I never would have expected. Yeah. <laughs>